We're outside, it's dusk. The pavilion is there in all its finery as the main subject, painted splendidly with lots of marvellous layers of glowing light on the glass, which it appears to be made of, and there's reflections in the water, very beautifully painted. And that would be the main subject. But what appealed to me about this painting was the way Alfred noticed this couple and put them in the painting on the right, at the bottom. It is the foreground, but they're not the main subject. They're having their photograph taken by an old fashioned photographer with a tripod and a black cloth over his head. And you can see they're making an effort to stand very still, probably for quite a while, because that kind of process would have taken quite a while. And it's dusk, speaking of the light. The dusk is coming down and they're very patiently waiting for this man to go through the process of making the photograph that will be the memory for their day, probably. I've had this done with one of these photographers, and it's a very laborious process because the photographer with a hood over his head takes the photo, which takes a while in itself, then he photographs the negative, and then the photo is developed from that. What I found so touching and humorous and sweet was the way Alfred gives these people the dignity of their moment in front of this massive pavilion, which is obviously the reason they wanted to stand there. They've obviously had their good day out, it's the end of the day, and they're racing against the light, and they're very patiently waiting to see if it will be managed. I just love the sympathy he has for these people in this picture and it's done with wit and gentle humour and appreciation of these people. Alfred's paintings often have that humanity, which I appreciate very much. <laughs>